that's the title, says it all. Robert De Niro's latest would-be weeping is neither good, bad, but merely deeply okay. It's like looking at about Schmidt's less interesting brother. Dad, I can't get away this weekend. But this year, everyone is canceling. We're not gonna be able to make it this weekend. And no one will say why. I'm sorry, Dad. Sometimes, the only way to get the truth is to go out and find it. Oh my gosh. Look at you. Come on, Ingrid. <laughs> Oh, it's got a handle. Well, of course it's got a handle. I can't believe it. Surprise. What are you doing here? I came to spend some time with my son, the conductor. Hi, Dad. This holiday season. This is where you live? No, this is an elevator. Very good. You don't know how to use chopsticks. You like making fun of me, don't you? Yeah, you're funny. Yeah, I'm funny, huh? A journey he never expected to make. Never said I was conducting, Dad. But the drum? What happened? What are you hiding from me, you and the others? I don't know what to say at all became exactly what his family needed. I don't know what it is with you kids. You always told your mother everything. You never told me anything. We tell you the good news and spare you the bad. Tell me the bad news as well as the good news from now on. Mom used to say, make your dad proud. And I know you're not proud of me. De Niro plays a recently retired widower who, with nothing but time on his hands, decides to visit his children who are now scattered across the states, including Drew Barrymore, now a Vegas dancer, Kate Beckinsale and Sam Rockwell. I want to get us all around the same table. Like we used to at Christmas. Together, everybody together. Hey! What? <laughs> Robert De Niro, Drew Barrymore, Kate Beckinsale. The moral, as far as I could make out, is that families are important and we should all be a bit closer and communicate more, which is fair enough, but really, it didn't take 99 minutes to say it. Overall, we'll give this a week three out of five.